Hello, thank you for taking the time. This is a quick overview of after the installation of FreeBlue. Um, before we begin, I just want to just mention that Retail Sensors is nowhere affiliated or has any part of FreeBlue. We just found this software um, that was free online that would be very useful as an alternate um, for our customers. We do have a paid version. Um, and the paid version has better reporting and can reach more devices simultaneously. But um, we just wanted to offer this as another option. So real quickly, there's the documentation, the videos that are out there are in Spanish, so we thought we'd make a quick one. A couple notes. Um, one is during the installation, um, we have reports that it hangs up during the install. If you, when you're doing the install, keep in mind there's a little dialog box that pops up behind the actual logo. You need to um, just scroll and, and take your mouse and just pull that down a little bit where you can see the yes or no option. And if it still hangs up, try hitting tab and return. Um, once you get past that hang up, everything else uh, goes pretty flawless. Uh, one other thing that came up is somebody mentioned that they had a thing that said database error and after they named it custom um, it kind of diverted back to the PC's name and let me show you what that means so if you go in here after you've already installed the software and you've opened it click on there right here it says Bluetooth adapters name so whenever you have um, the device plugged in um, basically, you can name this something custom. So I always tell people, enter in your store's name. Now, this is the part they're saying that after the database error, it defaults to the computer's name. If that does happen, let me just show you real quickly. On Windows 10, it's different for every version of Windows, but basically what you want to do is go to your settings, I believe it's system and then look for about and right here you could rename the um, PC so name it to your store's name and of course don't use any spaces just whatever the store's name you have no spaces the reason you want to do that is the media says um, store's name is sending you a blank would you like to accept by having your store's name there it's going to be a lot more relevant to the person the conversion will go up highly so that being said let's just dig right in here and I already have campaigns set up in this but let's go ahead and just kind of go over it real quickly you got three ways of clicking to get your campaign you can click on this icon you can click on this icon you can even go up to the campaigns and go to campaign administrator so now that you're in here if we were creating it for the first time, we'd hit new campaign. Um, I'm gonna hit edit. Now keep in mind, these are the exact same. So editing and creating a new, you still have to go through all the steps. So we're gonna go ahead and give this campaign um, name. Um, let's do something more relevant here. Um, let's call it uh, Tuesdays. No, let's do something a little more generic. Um, daily specials okay down here this is more for you to enter in your uh, description okay this is important you have to make sure you're in the time range uh, for this thing to run so you got to make sure that the start date is um, before you want to run it so if you run it on a start date that is today with a time that hasn't happened yet then of course it won't be able to start running until that happens um, you can't schedule it for the future and start it that I know of so just make sure your date range is correct and um, I recommend running it for really a month to kind of find out what kind of traffic you're getting um, the key thing here is the more traffic you're getting the better but if you notice you're getting a lot of users and handsets and downloads you might want to convert to the upgraded program that handles a lot more simultaneous connections and the reporting is a lot more robust so i'm going to hit finish do you want to create media now yes um, i already created a test one that we ran um, just a, earlier today um, i'm going to go ahead and hit edit and then 
you would call this something related to your store. So, um, um, for the most part, you can name this, um, since you have your store's name, you can name this 10% off or new shoes arriving or try our daily try our daily specials or whatever you want. But keep in mind, the way that this is going to show up on the phone is going to say store's name has sent you a, and this is going to be the file name that you're sending them and then ask them to accept or reject. So just make sure that it's kind of poignant too, um, to the to actually work. So I'm just going to put daily specials. Now, the most relevant one is an image. It works on most of the phones. So here we actually send you a coupon with the device. Um, you can change that every month if you need to. So basically you would just hit select media and just navigate and select the image and you're pretty much good to go. A couple options you have on the older phones, um, more like the flip phones and older phones and, and Blackberries and ones that, um, again, let me just mention, this does not work on iPhones. The new iPhones have shut off the Bluetooth. But if a phone does have Bluetooth enabled, the older models allow you to send what are known as text files. And so you could come right in here, type in your text message and be able to send that right away. Or again, I recommend the image. Make sure the file is small because you are sending it to a mobile phone. So it needs to be file size small and the graphics need to fit the phone screen. Again, we do include one already with your bundle. So here we go. We hit next. And now you can schedule this out if you want to run it. I recommend in the beginning just to run it every day all the time. Um, after a while, you might notice we've had some customers say, well, uh, after you know a certain time of night, I really don't think I need to run the program anymore. So I just shut it down for a specific time thing or the days were closed. To that I say, until you know, um, you don't know. So run it for the first 30 days and, and really get your numbers in there and see what time of day and what kind of traffic you're actually getting before you determine to start turning it off and turning it back on. Once you're set, you hit finish. Do you want to create a media? No. And now the only thing left to do now is go ahead and hit this button right here. And this guy will start running the campaign and it'll start um, flowing through. If you have any more questions, there is a manual that comes on the, on the installation disk. Um, so you can use the manual to read through. We unfortunately don't offer too much support on this because again, this is a free version, but we hope this uh, video helps. Thank you.